when I actually met DC again, when he invited me to his show, he kept saying to me, yo, you look familiar as hell. I know your face. By that time, I had hair yeah. on my face. You told him, though? How you know? Yeah. So when I told and I explained to him, I was like, yo, I'm transitioning. You feel me? I got hair. And when I met you the first time, I ain't have no hair. I had a right. low cut. He like, yo, exactly. He like, yo, I know you look familiar. Mm. I can't, He said, even when he saw La Mecca, he kept saying, like, I know. He like, I know this nigga. Right. Like, I know. He like, yeah. the character, I know this nigga from somewhere. Like. Right. Nigga just look look a little different, and it was the the facial hair. Right. So look, you just you just mentioned that we gonna go there. I was waiting yeah. for you to mention so we can go there. You yeah. Mentioned it. Uh, let's talk about the transition. You know what I mean? How you went from female to male, and then other then then educate us on it. Because a lot I of will. people so don't. Look, that's... So look, let me just say this because a lot of people, including myself, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying. I, I'm really not. I don't really know as much about mm -hmm. you know what I mean the whole community. Yeah. That you know what I mean? At nah, large. but this is why I like coming on these platforms. That's why I was like, yo, let me come through and just just educate people on there and put them on. Because we don't know a lot of black people. Exactly. Like, even exactly. Us, right? you like, but you you may you you probably sure. nah, nah, you probably know people and just don't know. You know and don't believe know. it or not. Absolutely. You probably. understand what I'm saying? But um that's why I, when you said something about the DJ situation, I was about to get into that because I was the first female DJ in Patterson. Years ago. Huh. Years ago. Right. So that's why this is why my story is the way it is for me. Like, I don't, you know, I don't um, take away from anybody that that's transitioning. I feel like they don't ever want to speak on their past. That's dumb. For me, my story is my story and it's unique and I don't shelf it because it's a part of what I have going on. Right. Being the first female DJ came with a lot of things, you understand? Like rocking with dudes, knowing how I always genuinely felt inside, right. but not not being educated myself. I didn't always know what transgender was. I just knew how I felt. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when I actually became educated and I started my transition, I started to understand things differently and I started to educate more. But um yes, I was the first female DJ in Patterson. Mm. I should say Jersey cuz I really didn't know any other female G DJs from Jersey. Mm. And I started very very young. Like my fr my 21st birthday party was thrown by Miss Teresa if anybody know from the guitar bar, like she had the LGBTQ community on Smash, still do. Yeah, I, that's what I'm not familiar, yeah, familiar with. To this day, know. like big, you know, and I started in that lane. Mm. But um, I started from there, you know, first female DJ. I started DJing and I went, I did a lot with Miss Teresa, shout out to her. I went on tour with Trina. I did stuff mm. with Joel Santana, mm. Corey Guns. I had a lot of experiences through this woman. So shout right. out to her. But um, it was a lot just being a female dealing with a lot of like a, a predominantly male industry. Right. But also it was different for me because I knew how I felt. So I ain't stand for a lot of different shit. Like I'm not. And then you got the relationships too already. Yeah. Kind of, sort of. But I had to make them. I had to earn, like not, let me not say earn them. I had to like really stand my ground. Right. And then now it all makes sense to a lot of people that I double back and see. It's like, oh. That's why you was the way that you was. You right. know what I'm saying? When you, were, when you was the first female DJ to your recollection, um, what was your image like? How does it was aesthetically? It like, wasn't uh, feminine, and oh, that was okay, the okay. thing. I wasn't bowing down to that. Right, you was because doing, you stand in your lane. Exactly. I was. I've been cross dressing since I was about 15, 16 oh, years okay, old. Okay. So, so I. So I don't mean to cut you off, but what do you say to the people that say the LBGTQ? Mm -hmm. Community, gay, so on and so forth, is like the people that that I guess that deal with that and that's in that situation is there's mainly a mental illness. That's why they doing it or they have identity crisis. What's your so response I, to that? I feel like this, right? So just like they, people can ha everybody's entitled right. to their opinion. So for for people that's like me, this is why I push self love and self care so much because everybody's gonna have an opinion, like. Alcoholics, right? You become it becomes a mental illness after after a while, right? Because right, right. you depend on it, right? And there's certain things that people that's on drugs or whatever, any type of substance abuse, is something that people that's not on it can't relate to because they don't understand it, right? Absolutely. So when you are dealing with something with identity, it's a personal thing. You know what I'm saying? You can't worry about what other people feel because. 
that's genuinely how you feel. Right, you got to live it. You have to live that, and you you got to just go on ahead and do your thing. That's just like with interracial relationships. That's just like with regular same-sex relationships, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. People that's in the streets. Like, everybody vice is different. You know what I'm saying? So that don't really phase me like that. People can say whatever they want to say. Oh, it's a mental illness. Okay. What's okay. Your opinion, yeah. What What's else? Next? I got a regular job. I do. I live my life regular, just like everybody else. Right, right. You don't let it define your circumstance. I don't. That's just like single mothers, right? You don't have no control of. People feel like if you ain't no fathers in the house, you don't got no control of your kids. That's their opinion, right? Mm. But I know some women that actually raised amazing kids that don't play with them. Absolutely. So people could say what it, it all boils down to people saying whatever it is that they want to say. You know what I'm saying? I Like I said, I didn't know what being transgender was straight off rip. I had no idea what it was. Now, I knew that I was a female, born a female, but I was attracted to women. My first crush was a woman. Mm, right. I didn't grow up seeing that shit. Majority of my family is Muslim. Right, right, right. So you know that they against you. So how, that's another thing I wanted to get into. How your family felt about it? Your mother, your father. So you know okay. What I mean? So even like I said, um, I was very young cross dressing. I was very. I came out very young as being a lesbian, mm -hmm. as being gay. Like I heard you on the last podcast. You were saying like you was wanting to go out with your cousins, and you was mm -hmm. acting girly just to be able to go out. Not and even out. acting girly. I just was hanging with them because I wanted to be outside. I'm the baby. Got you. Out of that, out of my generation, I'm the baby, so I wanted to be. I was. I couldn't go nowhere unless I was with them. Got you. There was nobody else rocking like me when we were in the house and they was playing dress up in heels and all that shit. I was stealing my cousins' do rags and asking them how I look. How y'all think I would look if I was a boy? Got you. I was doing shit like that. Your whole they, outlook was totally. They the friends opposite. come over. I'm like, damn, my shit. <laughs> Feel me. I'm yeah. all, I'm, I'm charming as hell. What y'all need? You want something to drink? I got you. Feel me? Like, I was always like that, but I, I ain't have no choice because that's all I was around. Like I said, when I caught wind of my own kind, oh, you like bitches too? Oh, yeah. And you a girl? And you dress like that? We outside. Yeah. I got now, so many questions. I don't mean to cut you nah, off. Nah, do your thing. I got to ask these questions, right? So as a transgender, what did you change? Did you change your top mm -hmm. and your bottom? And and then uh, and it's, just, it's a two part question. Did you change these organs? <laughs> and now yeah, wow, wow. No, I need to know. I just did some thing. I just never, you know, what I mean, happened before. I just told you this first conversation. I'm actually having uh, a transition outside of the shit that you, the 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 spin cycle thing that you usually do uh -huh. with the cameras on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about the pictures thing that you yeah, usually 360. do. Yeah, three sixty. The three sixty wasn't that? Yeah, book three uh, three sixty cam party rinse. Yeah, yeah, really <laughs> she gets busy. That shit was nah, fire too. Right? Me and my we wife still, we post that shit once a year for every three. <laughs> 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 That's, I love you. Oh, you got a new you hey, yo, you go out at him, you know what I mean? Nah, real chill. And so, what, what body parts did you change, and do you still, like, like if you change your, the, the bottom area, the, 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 I mean, this area, <laughs> so look, do you still, I'm saying, crazy, do you still, man. do you feel, like, sexual, satisf how do you get satisfied, right, so how look, do you satisfy I know, I know, I know what you're trying to say, Louis. Drink your fucking yeah, drink. He yeah, had to sip. yeah, I don't he know what that is. Like, my boy, I'm being I know, honest I, with you. You, you I asking typical questions that everybody want to know. That's the first thing people want. You got to. Right. We want yeah, to he don't know. That's the first yeah, thing. Yeah, we got to bet. GL says plastic. I said, nah, she changed it. <laughs> 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 so listen, nah, it is it is procedures that you can actually, um, you know, go through to have bottom. It's, it's a such thing as bottom and top surgery. Oh, yeah. I got the to top surgery. Um, bottom surgery is a, is a so very... You got the top surgery? Yes. Okay. It's a... Um, bottom surgery is a very complicated um, procedure. It's... 500K probably? Not, ain't even about the cost because there's plenty of sh grants out there that I could get the shit for free if I wanted to, to be honest with you. Put me on so I get my hair done. <laughs> <laughs> you nah, nah, it's not my boy. Yeah, seriously, seriously. I, I, I could be in, I'm serious. You talking about you... Nah, it's... Not nah, my boy. Of, it's, it's plenty of um, <laughs> it's plenty of situations out there for that. But um, um, naturally, when you take testosterone, things grow. Got you. You know what I'm saying? That your body, like, it's, you get drastic changes. Honestly, but but then it's like this. It's like niggas. Some niggas got big. Some niggas got little.
You know what I'm saying? Some people, my testosterone needs to change. I need to tell me what to take. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Some people, some I need like, another two like, inches. Like, yo, some people got little beards. Some people got big beards. You think I get another two inches? If I, if I start <laughs> taking some, I'm asking. <laughs> if I start taking some, that's not real. Yo, honestly, this look, look, man. It's about how you take care of yourself. It's about the supplements you take and all that. Like, a lot of people, first thing people ask like, they could, on. that they could visibly see is, how the fuck you get a beard? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was telling you earlier, Ma, I love you. I just, you. Wanted, you know, to know, I just Ma, wanted to know if it was the same as that. No, this is natural. You a hate natural. This, this is actually natural. Uh, look, uh, I love you, but no, you know, women. women oh, yo, fuck you. No, I just what you just like, said. This is actually natural. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just saying, this, is actually, this is naturally grown. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, some women, uh, people, a lot of people don't, especially men, don't know that women have something called PCOS. Yeah, what so, is that? PCOS is a real thing, it's a hormonal um, thing that women go through. Some women have a higher testosterone count. Mm. Than others, and they actually grow full beards. Mm. Like I'm talking about real. And they nah, be, I know some women with um, and they be, facial hair. They be pissed. You know what I'm saying? Like, but it's a real thing. So, um, Dave. yeah. They, <laughs> and um, just so happened that you know some of the women in my family had that. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. For me, it was a plus, mm -hmm. of course, because once I started, I wanted, of course, yeah. I want a full beard. You know, and it just came naturally. And um, that's that situation. Hey, yo, yeah, but it's a, it's it's um, you know, it's been a it's been a a journey for me, mm -hmm. but I don't regret anything because this 